here we are. You are watching this video because of that handy dandy little title about habits. Now, either you have some and they're good or they're bad, or you're working on them and you want to get better at habits. So Nicole and I are here to help you out with that. Hopefully you like this short little format um, or it's going to be super fast, one, two punch, get you in, get you out and make sure you hit like and subscribe wherever you are watching this from. We want to keep bringing you more powerful information specifically for what we've learned in the past and um, some things that are on our bookshelves. And uh, as you can see, Nicole's bookshelf is much fuller than mine right behind her. Um, no. So Nicole, our topic today, habits. Habits. It's a huge habit. Habit. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, ribbit. Okay. Yeah. You've probably come across a lot of books and quotes. Let's start there. What'd you find? Okay. Um, so books, I probably my top three favorite books are, you know, there's seven habits of highly effective people. And when I was in college, we went around to high schools and taught that. So way back in 1995, 96. And so that's obviously a big one. And I know a lot of people who use it for book studies, all that kind of stuff. My second, and probably, yeah, I can't say most favorite because the third one is my most favorite. Second one would be Atomic Habits. Atomic oh, Habits. Oh, yeah. 1,000%. Yeah. Must read, must read, must, must read. And then the number one, my number one favorite books for creating habits is Ula, Finding Balance in an Unbalanced World. There is no better system, the selfless plug in, but there is no better system in the world to create habits than what we have created with the Ula Life Center. Yeah, and I'm gonna we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, just like how I've used it to create consistency in habits. Um, and Nicole, maybe that's your story too. But my book is The Power of One by Ed Milet. Um, habits are hard. I just listened to a podcast with him and Jay Shetty. Okay, about the power of one more, and I've always oh yeah had this Sorry. in my head that the power of one more. I've always had this, you know. This one more. We just need to do one more time. I think we can do anything one more time. But yeah, if just go to Jay Shetty's On Purpose podcast and find the interview with him and Ed, and it is, it's all gold, all good. Yeah, right all on. Good. So check the description. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll yeah. definitely put that in the description down below. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is like this is like, and just talking straight. Well, I, well, he was talking straight to me, so I don't know if he yeah. works straight for you, but yes. I was just like, did he tell course. you a whole bunch of stories about his father? Like of course, the, yeah, yeah, so so good. And so um, that was really helpful for me. So one of my habits is listening to a little bit of this book um, somewhere in my day. So I'm just trying to feed myself. Uh, looks like you have a quote. I do. Okay, yeah, you. the quotes. So my favorite quote is always. It's credited to Abe Lincoln, and I've heard it a hundred different ways, but give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I'll spend the first four sharpening the axe. And there's some conflicts in how many hours for each. But you get the point that if you're not sharpening your habits, if you're not creating habits, that's sharpening the axe. It takes longer to get things done. It's harder to get things done. And so that's my favorite one. And then I came across this one by Bruce Lee that I thought was pretty awesome, too. Yeah. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. And that made me think of Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods and all those guys who practice their shit right. is closed and, and all that kind of stuff. Same, same concept. And that's, that's habits, whether it's a sport or a business or health or whatever it might be, same concept. Right. One kick 10,000 times that um, it's not what I prepared, but that reminded me of the athletic coach. And this is really bad, but I'm pretty sure it was an LSU football team. And on their locker room, it says we practice until we can't get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's creating that, that habit. And, and I think what we're talking about is a lot about that skill. Um, but a habit is, you know, the thing that is in your, subconsciously you're just going to do it right so if um let's say you like i just spilled some coffee grounds and what did i do 
I just pushed it to the side. Bad habit. Like <laughs> how it should be get the things that you need to clean this up in five seconds. Yeah. Um, so I, I think that I'm seeing um that habit and and so trying to start that off. I brought some quotes too, and they're a little bit more like um they make you think, I think, but one can conquer a bad habit easier today than tomorrow because sure. today's always the best day. right like clean the best day. Day. what are you doing um and then habits are either the best servants or the worst of masters i was um, like yeah rough right so we can have good habits but we can also have the bad habits um yeah. And so it just goes in to talk about like the worst boss anyone could have is a bad habit. And so how do you, and you kind of um, talked about this before, but what's so once you figure out what the habit is that, and we're not talking about cutting out habits, we're talking about adding habits, because I think you really do have to replace that bad habit with something that you're, that you need to do. And so bad habit, dropping coffee yeah. grounds, not cleaning it up. I have, um, some people call it bundling. Some people call it stacking, but what I try to do is when I'm trying to add a new habit is couple it with something else, something I don't have yet, but I want to have with the other. So example, our dishwasher was out of service for a long time. And so I had to wash dishes by hand and I absolutely hate it. So I would listen to an audio book because I absolutely love learning. So I listened to an audio book while I washed the dishes. And now it's just become a habit that whenever I'm cleaning and I want to clean a little more because I want to listen to that audio book, that audio book is my treat for cleaning. And so yeah, the, yeah. the audio books is when I'm cleaning. Um, another one is um, we want to stop eating out so much, but we also want to go to Mexico for our friend's wedding next year. So every time we don't eat out, we put that money in the pot to go to Mexico. So that's a couple different ways on working on creating different different habits. Yeah, stacking it. And then did you find yourself like writing down the habits that you want? I have not. I have not done that. Yeah. Um, I did that so that I could create a routine just so that it would be in my mind. And I didn't write it down like every day what I was going to do, just like you know, boop, 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 boop. Um, don't we wish that everyone had that habit out there that they didn't run the yellow lights at 90 miles an hour? <laughs> I think like, I did one earlier. Like that's a habit, right? Yeah. Yep, for sure. Yellow means go faster. Yeah. I guess, you know, the habits that I do have written down are for my 23 strong. And so every day I have nine different things that I have to do every day. And then one that's fed into me. And so, and most of those that were already habits, meditating, um, journaling, gratitude, breathing, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I do have a list, I guess you could say of habits. Okay. Yeah. So, and then where do you keep that list? It's on my phone. So in my photos, I can find it. You keep talking and I'll find it. Okay. Here. Yeah. So um, one of the things that I was working on was my consistency because I am a naturally just my day is flexible. Everything ebbs and flows. Oops. I don't, we can't really see yeah, that. Green screen's gonna, okay. Green down. screen's going to screw that up. Put it, maybe yeah. hold it right in front of your face and then will that work? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, cool. So you keep them in it's your there. notes. <laughs> um, I was looking for the consistency, like, okay, I have to do certain things. Uh, it's not that I didn't do them. I just wasn't doing it efficiently. If you know me, efficiency is like my thing. Um, so I signed myself up for a thing called 23 Strong. And what that forced me to do is because I'm also a little gamer. Um, it forced me to start the habit of looking at my day a little bit differently using the help of the um, ULA framework and the ULA app. And so I gained a habit. And I proved to myself, which is ultimately what well, should that have to happen? I don't think so, but that was important to me. Like prove it to yourself that you can do it. Right. Um, and so, yeah, that, that really helped me, but I think 
habits are um, normal. Is that, am I saying that right? Like habits necessary? Habits are, are necessary. Yeah. 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 Um, if, and for those of us in, you know, the, in the business realm and we're working in marketing, that's your brand. Your habits are your brand. And so um, what are you expecting to do? Is your habit to get in the car and immediately put it on your seatbelt? Is the habit get in the car and light up a cigarette, right? And so um, what, yeah, what yeah. are your habits? So take a quick look at those for sure. What do you think are two key in ingredients for creating a new habit? What do you think is most important? Oh, most important for creating a habit. I think it has to lead to something that you want. For sure. Your why and your want have to be, especially if it's something hard, that has to be solid for sure. So there's motivation and that's what your why and your want would be, be motivation. And that's, that's one of them, but it's not the only one because did you know, I'm going to throw this at you, 100 million people enroll on in online classes every year, okay. 100 million, okay? How many of them graduate? What percent graduate? Oh no, I would hope 95%. 10% graduate, 90 drop out because they're riding the motivation wave alone. And so they have to have, they have, there has to be more to that. And the other one is it has to be easy. And by easy, you it has to be affordable. So okay. easy is judged by time, money, and ability, those three things. So maybe they were all motivated to go to school, but there's no way they could afford it. So that okay. takes up that easy factor. Or um, maybe they didn't have the time. They have five jobs and three kids and whatever else. Or maybe they just didn't have the ability. It was harder than they thought. And so motivation and ease which okay. includes time and so so if i've got the motivation part figured out then i need to go make sure that those other obstacles are yep. like they aren't obstacles anymore right yep Get otherwise it i'm likely not to create that habit and finish is that what, is that what i'm hearing you say yeah absolutely the more prepared the more you can set yourself up for success ahead of time the easier it's going to be for you to create that habit of course Absolutely. I love that. Um, so something that, something that I did was I, I took a deep dive into um, what my habits were. And I found that I have daily habits. I have some weekly habits and then I have some monthly habits. And I literally just kept a piece of paper on my desk right where I could see it. And every time I caught myself doing something good or bad, it didn't matter. And then I totally had an inventory and then I could see um, what was happening. And like you said before, like pairing up um, something that I didn't like or the ease thing. That's the first time I've heard about that, but that totally makes sense. Um, so get yourself a piece of paper, make a column daily, weekly, monthly, uh, and start writing down those habits and, and habits can be thoughts too. Well, for sure. Uh, I just be all morning, all spent morning. the morning working on habitual thoughts with my youngest son. Habitual yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Um, so it's just like retraining your subconscious and obviously the affirmations are going to come into that, right? Oh yeah. Send them three. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yep. And then, um, habits can also be used to support your goals. So if your goal requires some of those daily tasks, turn that into a habit. And so ask yourself, what habits do I have that support my goals? And then maybe look on the other side. What habits do I have that don't support my goals? Yep. Um, get some help with that because adding someone into your life to hold you accountable right is yeah, probably sure. a good thing like if that's where you know in those three things some accountability uh start working on that right away and then the habits that you need to develop we kind of talked about that get those books man atomic right am i saying that right atomic, atomic habits. Habits, yep um totally flipped my brain of what a habit is um, and then sign up for his email. There's like very few people that I read all their emails when I sign up for him, sign up for his. And then he also has this challenge you can sign up for. He just sends so much, oh, so much wow. good stuff. Yeah. Pro tip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, so we know uh, where Nicole's learning what habits. 
And then <clears throat> which ones, once you have that inventory, which ones um, maybe need to shift from the week to the day or the month to the week or, you know, going back the other way, Nicole talked about eating out. So does that switch from the week to the month? Um, and then what's going to replace that other thing? And then. Um, and you talked about accountability and that's huge. And then one of the huge things for me on being successful is tracking. And so I have for all of my goals, all my ULA goals and all the seven F's, I have a tracker for all yeah. 21 goals. Hey, so can I we I'm going to share my tracker and it's a little bit more unicorny than yours is. Um, but you know, sometimes it's just, um, easier to use something that someone already found that works. So I'm going to link mine in the description as well. Okay. And Nicole, if you want to, I'll um, get that uploaded for you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you've got any questions, comment on this video and we'll um, definitely take a look and um, shoot you a message. And if you'd like to learn a little bit about that thing we talked about called ULA, um, there's probably a video on this channel that'll tell you more about that too. So, Thanks and and I, I want them to say what book we should read, what habits book we should read. I would like some recommendations. Um, can never stop learning. So if you have a habit book we should read, drop that in the comments too. And then, um, oops, there's one other thing and I can't remember. But yeah, I want to know. What book we should read. Awesome. So if you have a new book, because everyone, you know, puts it in a different perspective. And uh, I think that that's helpful too. So habits. Awesome for all. Make them good. All right. Thanks for joining us. Watch the next video.